So whenever I give a question like this to my students, they often look at me and they're like, okay, so what is the question? Well, guys, we must always remember that this symbol stands for the sum. So they're asking you to calculate the sum. So what we usually do first is we find term one, term two, and term three, just to see if we have an arithmetic or a geometric pattern. To find term one, you plug in whatever this number is in the place of P. So that's gonna be like that and that will give us three. And then to find term two, you just increase this number by one. So it'll be three times three plus one over two, which is six. And then to find term three, we increase it again. So it'll be four times four plus one over two, which is 10. Now guys, what you are going to realize is that there is no pattern taking place. But if you watched one of the previous lessons in the sequence and series videos, can't remember which one it was, we realized that sometimes they will give us a question that doesn't have a pattern, but then they will usually make the number at the top really low. The reason for that is now we don't have a lot of terms, so we can go find them ourselves. So how many terms are there? Remember there's not five. The number of terms is the top number minus the bottom number plus one. And so there's only four terms. So we've already done the first three. We might as well just quickly go do the fourth one, which is 15. Now what we do is we just add these numbers together and that gives us 34. And that's the answer. That is the sum. You can do it manually or you can do it yourself if they don't give you a proper kind of pattern.